Sip on that. Sip on that. We are here. We are back. We are here to cover what's ever out there. Just put your questions down below. Send your questions in the inbox. Send your questions in Messenger. Send your questions on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We are here. Sip on that. Sip on that. And we're back with another exclusive story. So stay tuned. Don't you go nowhere. Sip on that. Welcome back to another episode of Sipping on That with Nicole. How is everyone week? How is everyone holidays? I'm hoping everyone having a blessed and highly favorite time. And thank you for coming back to Sip on That with Nicole. Sip on That with Nicole. Yes, yes. I'm excited. I'm excited. We have new content that's coming out. And st stay tuned for what all we have coming in out. You can reach me at my email, trailblack9 at gmail.com. You can put all your questions down below, and we will get back with you. You can find us on other social media channels. Just put your questions in, and we'll get back with you. And that's sipping, I'm sorry, sip on that with Nicole. Sip on that with Nicole. And you can also go to our merchants page. Is at siponthatwithnicole.net. Siponthatwithnicole.net, and I will put that in the bio. And we're going to go with our first thing. What we're doing today. So. We didn't have a question today, so I'm trying to see what to call it, but we're going to talk about border control. Um, they had migrants, immigrants that waiting at the borders, let's say around El Paso, Texas, to get in. And it's thousands of them that is waiting at the border. And a lot of them is crossing over to America. I'm, I'm, I'm on the page where something has to be done about this. This is a crisis. I mean, it's a crisis because I understand people is trying to get away from their country from whatever is going on in their country, but the way that they're going by doing it is not in the right manner. It is not in the right way. You have to come in illegal, legally. You have to come in legally through the borders. These people came in, I'm saying these people because of it's different areas of the borders, but mainly El Paso. So that's why I'm only using the word these people. I'm not saying nobody is criminals. I'm not saying nobody is thugs. What I am saying is it was at least seven degrees temperature. And I mean, that was cold. That was cold. It was seven degrees temperature outside. These people had babies. It's old people, elderly, that was going through water, migrants that was going through water in the freezing temperatures that made it over the border to America. And the governor, Abbott, what he did was since a lot of them were sleeping on the streets. 
I mean, it was hundreds of them just sleeping on the streets. So what he did was he put them on a bus and dropped them off in front of Camilla Harris' door. He literally put them on a bus, let that bus drove them to Washington, D.C., and put them off of the colander of her house and say, y'all deal with this situation. And technically, he's right. He is right. Because if he been dealing with it for so long and the Biden administration is, is, is allowing this to happen because this is how I feel about it and anybody opinion, you could voice your opinion. Like I said, put your questions down below. But if he can send millions of dollars to Ukraine and Ukraine president can fly himself all the way to America to get a check from Biden for millions of dollars. That means that same millions of dollars you can put to help this border situation because at the end of the day, this not good because these people could die out there in these temperatures. They didn't even have on shirts, shoes, tea tops. Somebody gave them blankets. And it's not the fact that they from another country that's coming in illegally. It's that how they're going to survive. It was heartbreaking. How are they going to survive in these cold, cold temperatures that's out there? And, and they had one man that was telling them, we'll just come in and stand up. The wind chills were so strong. He was saying, we just won't come inside. The man was just like, I have no more room for y'all. I done took as many as I can take. And people is being heart well, heartfelt for the people. But enough is enough. Sometimes you might have to get a boat and take all of them who came and put them back on the boat and take that, let that boat go all the way back to their country and bring them back. I mean, and it's not being, uh, what I'm trying to say, it's not being mean. It's not being, you know, not compassion. It's not being empathy. Sometimes it is what it is, and you got to come directly for what it is. You're coming in illegally. You're breaking the law. And then it had some people that was trying to take some stuff so they can have shelter. That's breaking the laws. Because they were so cold. And it, something had to be done about it. And if this president can send millions of dollars to Ukraine, there's no way, there's no way. You can't say that you can't fix these borders. It's a crisis. It's a crisis. And then they say, oh, he got mad and he was cursing in the White House. Don't curse. Do something about it. Do something about it. I mean, hey, maybe a wall wasn't so bad. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Maybe a wall wasn't so bad. But... Since we're on that, since since we're on that about Biden, if Biden have another chance to get back in office, they still gonna vote him in. I'm just letting y'all know, Trump might not get in. Donald Trump might not get in office. Biden probably have a, a, a second chance to get in before Donald Trump. I know a lot of people don't wanna hear that, and I'm gonna tell you why. Coming from different communities because Donald Trump have good ideas Donald Trump have good plans Donald Trump say all the right things but the way he go by doing it is unsanitary the way he go by doing it is is nobody is not gonna accept that 
that's that's the way he go about doing maybe because he's a part of the elite rich and don't understand the way you're doing the things that you're doing changing the law on to fit the narratives of the ways that you want to do it mm, nobody ain't gonna go with that no 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 but guess what though Trump I can't say you do come up with the good ideas you do come up with the good laws but I don't think you're getting back in it's the way you have it and, and, and January 6th is a good example of exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> January 6th is a good example all what you were saying was good but the way your people went by doing it, treason, nobody ain't gonna put up with that. So maybe it's a strategy change. Now what I see is they might try to throw Donald Trump Jr. into the pregnancy and say, hey, I'm not my daddy. <laughs> but um, we can still get this done, you know? Who knows? We will see. We will see. We have another year, but um, Biden, something have to be done about the borders. It can't continue going on like this. And, like I said, that you can go to the merchants page at siponthatwithnicole.net. Siponthatwithnicole.net. And we're going to sip on that. Sip on that. Thank you and you have a good day.